So we've literally only just had a big fix update with the December patch for Android 12. And now Google is throwing Android 12 L beta one right on top of us. No matter, we're going to power through and get you to the good stuff, really. This is our hands on with Android 12 L beta one. Thanks for watching 9to5 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. Couple of bits of housekeeping though, before we kind of delve into this properly. If you have a Pixel phone, that is eligible for the Android 12 L beta, that is Pixel 4 and above, quickly go over to the Android 12 beta site and unenroll or remove your phone from the beta. Because for some weird reason, if you previously ran the betas for Android 12 and not 12 L itself, you're automatically enrolled and will need to opt out unless that is you want to run this software. If you don't, then you will be stuck with a preview software until you opt out or manually downgrade, which is going to be a pain although fairly simple. It's not exactly ideal as you might lose some important files. There are also going to be three full betas as well before Android 12 L stable hits devices sometime in early 2022, which is likely going to be in or around February or April, according to the official roadmap. We also wanted to warn people right away, just so you're aware, basically, especially if you're not happy to run preview software that could potentially be full of bugs and problems. And there are plenty to delve into here. Also, it seems that Google is leaving out the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro at least for a few days. Um, you won't have a chance to install this beta build. And we're a little bit disappointed too as we were kind of gearing up to install this on our Tensor powered smartphones. Google actually hasn't given a reason, but to be honest, you're not missing out all too much here with not really much to speak of in the grand scheme of things. With that said though, if we do manage to hit 2,500 likes on this video, then we will give you a nice array of our celebratory Android 12 L wallpapers as a consolation. So that might soften the blow a little bit. So with all of that out of the way, now we can get into the meat of Android 12 L and well, genuinely, there ain't quite as much as you might have been hoping. One of the first things you might notice is that as with all Pixel phones, they have some of the best haptics of all Android devices on the market. And Google knows this. And with the Android 12 L beta one update, you probably notice this subtle addition of haptic feedback in more system areas. A prime example is when swiping up into the app drawer from the Pixel Launcher, which now vibrates to indicate that you've actually opened your wider app library. The most notable though is when accessing the recent app menu, when scrolling through the open applications that you have, there are soft vibrations when each app arrives at the front of your carousel. When you slide up to dismiss an application, and there is an even in more incredibly subtle haptic vibration to indicate full closure. And this is quite a nice addition to what is a good haptic system on most Pixel phones to date. The animations as well within Android 12, they didn't need a ton of attention in Android 12 L, but beta one does tweak things slightly yet again. You'll likely notice certain UI portions slide in a little bit more gracefully than previously. A notable example is when expanding the notification panel. Each quick settings toggle will slide in and expand into size before popping into view. Other sections such as the lock screen toggles for Google Pay and Smart Home Tech with the home controls will similarly slide in with just a bit more easing on the animations themselves rather than just appearing into view. Activating quick toggles or quick settings toggles that have expanding menus or floating pop-ups will also snap into view rather than sliding in from a pinned bottom bar panel. It's not limited here either as opening things such as the settings menu and some associated sub menus now feels more fluid and in keeping with the Android 12 aesthetic overall. When you want to get rid of apps from the recent menu quickly, the clear all button is also now more visible in Android 12 L and instantly more tappable as it's a proper button this time around than just a piece of text. The design actually mimics the quick settings pill shaped toggles and definitely feels more cohesive or at least more obvious for those maybe not necessarily quite as well versed in all things Android. And it's a nice little touch that does round out the rest of the UI. And because Android 12 L beta one signifies Google's enhanced efforts to cater for larger phones and tablet displays, some core UI portions are going to be in need of a facelift and some tweaking to account for those devices. A prominent area where you'll notice this is with quick settings pop up tiles. Instead of being docked or pinned to the bottom of your screen, they float in the middle or with layouts that kind of reflect this. Google has also removed much of the separators or dividing lines in these UIs. You can see bigger icons and wider spacing for areas such as the output audio device panel, for example. Although areas like the sound and vibration section are still pinned to the bottom of your screen, they don't use float up panels or pop up panels 
There is better spacing though for volume sliders and improved button visibility here too, which does make it much more sense on a larger display with more space to play with. When pressing and holding an app that supports quick widget picking too, you'll also get a new full screen sheet tailored for that specific app or service. This is just another minor refinement to the widget selection process, but a smoother one nonetheless. A new animation and slightly tuned method of adding new users to your device is also present within Android 12 L beta one. If you have multiple users enabled, then you can tap the profile icon in the upper right from your lock screen to access a slide in panel and quickly add more users to your device. We were actually only able to get this working correctly when tuning the DPI levels within developer settings quite high, but it should save time expanding the notification shade in future if you do have a larger screen device. While Android 12 still lacks the ability, Android 12 or Beta 1 also lets you control the volume of any currently playing audio on Google Home, Nest or Chromecast enabled speakers and devices. It's not quite a return of the ability to adjust levels using the volume buttons on your Pixel, but it is at least a nice little workaround for now that will allow you to tune and kind of tweak the volume levels on your devices in and around your home. Although only one tablet currently available can run the Android 12 L Beta 1, that is the Lenovo P12 Pro, with some tinkering with DPI levels in developer options, we can see just what the new and improved quick settings panel will look like on larger screens such as foldables and tablets. We saw this working in the early emulator on the developer preview builds, but you get a better idea of what that dual column layout looks like now on a smartphone. When in landscape view, you'll have more room for up to eight quick settings toggles on the left, while the right side includes all notifications and all that kind of information. On smaller screens, this doesn't work all too well with plenty of artifacting and some overscrolling of certain portions, but as we've seen running the Android emulator previously, it should make better use of this area on larger panels. So that's basically a very short list of all of the new additions in Android 12 L Beta 1. We want to know though, it, while it may be short, what is your favorite new addition from this short selection? There isn't really that much to probably sink your teeth into and we wouldn't recommend you install it on your device, but that doesn't mean the Android 12 L beta phase won't throw up some more surprises as it progresses. Even so though, we wanna know what your favorite new tweak change or function is in this build, or are you just simply hoping to see more as this preview phase progresses? Let us know down in the comment sections below, but as always, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Android 12 L beta one. Until next time though, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.